Hey guys, and welcome back to Star Control 2, and in this episode, we are going to go and try and recruit the Yay Hat to our side. In order to further my goal in this area, I bought with me a Shofixie scout ship. Um, not due to the fact that the Shofixies are great fighters, but due to the fact that the Yay Hat apparently are a very honourable culture and they were deeply ashamed at what happened to the Shofixi. Uh, that they surrendered to the Urquan and the Shofixi chose to blow up their son rather than surrender. So if we can show them that the Shofixi are reborn, they might come back on, into the fold. And here they are, so let's have a chat. Or a fight, maybe, we don't really know. What am I seeing on the view screen? It's none other than the flattened old face of our friends the human. But, old ally, are you not knowing that we, the Yeha, are allied with the ur now? And your presence outside the slave shield and in an armed starship are clear violations of your oath of fealty. Whatever shall we do? It just isn't a right thing to kill you, human, but as a loyal member of my clan, I must obey the wishes of our queen. Your words are flying in the face of the facts, human. We are no longer being your allies. But unlike the nobles of our homeworld, we of the Starship clan are bereaved at this course of events. The Queen's decision to be joining the hierarchy pains us. As much as my heart cries to aid ye valiant human, I cannot. Each of us is sworn first to our queen who has commanded us to treat ye as an enemy of the crown. Can't you see that you're killing me, human? The shame, the awful shame of it. What you say is true. We should be under the same wing, but damn your eyes. Our queen has given the Urquan our allegiance, and there is nothing I could be doing about it now. Okay, so emotional blackmail's not gonna work, so let's see if showing them something a little more concrete might work. Human, what are you doing back here? Are you totally off your perch? We have sympathies for your cause, tis true, but we must obey the orders of our queen, however much we may disagree with them. We were not defeated, human! Never, never in the two thousand years of the deep Neat Queen have the Yehat ever, ever suffered a defeat! It is this fact alone that is making our will to the Queen so strong! This is the unbreakable bond that keeps the clans together! When the Urquan were entering our home star system at Gabon Serpentis, we had a thousand starships prepared to defend our home. And then, the Queen, she, she allied with the Urquan, and the fight is over before it even began! Oh! If this is being a true thing, there will be many changes. But we are a species long wise in the ways of deceit. You must be proving these words you say, Captain. Send the show fixed to us as a way of proof. We are scanning the separation of a vessel from your fleet, Captain, and indeed its configuration matches that of a show fixed scout vessel. This had better not be a trick, Captain. We are knowing the power of a glory device, and if you detonate the weapon near us, the price for you shall be dear, very dear. The scout has docked, and we await the pilot's appearance at the airlock. The atmosphere cycle is complete. The door slides open, and... It's true! The show fixed the yellow line! Look at that far muzzle, those shining black eyes, the sweet claws! Our children have returned from oblivion! But now we are faced with the cruelest truth. We who have sacrificed our honor, we who have lain with the enemy, we are not worthy. We are nothing. We are less than nothing. But wait, Mr. Spatty, we are the Yehats, 
of the Fellowship Club. We will not let that fly any longer. Listen, and I speak these words. If our queen makes the dishonorable command, then it is the queen who has no honor. And the dishonorable queen is no queen at all. We, the Zeep Zeep, are the only clan who remember the true meaning of honor. We shall tear the queen from her throne. The 2,000 year reign of the Zeep Zeep queens is over. The revolution has begun! Wait, did I just start a huge Yay Hat Civil War? Uh, let's have a look around at. Yeah, that looks like exactly what I did. Of course, not all Yay Hats are happy with me about it. Human! You shall never be fully comprehending the damage you're doing now to our Yay Hat culture! For fully two thousand years there's been peace between the clans, and now you have cast the ancient seed of dissension between our beaks. The bloody wars of ascension are renewed, and you are the cause, Captain. While the deep, deep traitors may be your allies, Captain, I can be assuring you that we of the deep, deep starship clan are wanting nothing more dearly than your death. Revolution? You compliment yourself unnecessarily, Captain. This is nothing more than a band of thugs trying to undo the peace of a hundred generations. We will roast the traitors in their ships and crack the eggs in their clan homes so that never again will the deep, deep criminals be flying through our stars. The pain and suffering of this useless conflict are being nothing but a tragic waste of life. Congratulate yourself, Captain. The source of all this death and misery is yourself. No, ye must pay for your crimes, human. And this is our first fight against the Yehat Terminator, and the Yehat Terminator is a formidable ship. Um, fortunately, the Oars Nemesis pretty much counters it. Um, the Yehat vessel has an energy shield, which it can use to block all uh, attacks. But the marines that the Oars Nemesis fires just simply bounce off the shield and then attack again. So. Eventually the Yay Hat's going to get its timing wrong or it's going to run out of energy and the Marines are going to be able to get on board. Taking a Yay Hat Terminator on head on is uh, something that you really should try and avoid because its front guns are exceedingly powerful and obviously its shields mean that uh, just trying to go Hail Mary like you would with the flagship is not going to end well for you whatsoever. I screw up a bit here, I fire the marines from a bit too far away so the terminator has a chance to pick off a few of them with its uh, ion blasters before they even get to the shield and then it gets to gravity work around the planet so I didn't do too well with launching marines there and I end up having to get into a bit of a fight. I still get a little bit unlucky because the average marine should kill I think between seven and eight crew on a ship and I get a few marines on board here but they uh, they don't really do the job they're supposed to and uh, there goes my nemesis. Fortunately that's only one down and uh, the other one's gonna clean up quite nicely here. There we go, nice and close now so the Terminator doesn't really have a chance to respond and as you can see it's having to keep its shield up constantly because if it doesn't the marines just get on board and eventually it makes the mistake of firing so the marines end up getting on board. So again, firing the marines from a little bit too far away there but close the gap again and they're on board and that's going to be more than enough to take out the Terminator so yes they're a formidable ship but I have the ship which pretty much counts as them 
so I'm okay there. Using the flagship at this point would be suicide, and uh, so these spathy ships aren't going to do very well against it either. Unfortunately, you'll notice that from where I was in Yehat space, I actually thought that I was in Allied Yehat space, and it turned out I wasn't. I was in Royalist Yehat space, so here's what they've got to say. That is the human agitator who would see her radiant majesty pulled from the high perch. You will rue the day you devised this wicked scheme. Do not be worrying yourself, Captain. Victory is almost within our grasp. No, ye must pay for your crimes, human. Instead of subjecting you to that, I decided to uh, leg it from Yehat Space, come back here and recrew, and um, just do a couple of changes quickly. Uh, I don't need the show fixy. Uh, Starship anymore because it's weak and I've already instigated the A hat revolution. So, unless I want a load of suicide bombers on my team, there's not really much point in having them. As you can see, my crew cost is now one thanks to having the show fix the alliance, so it's really worth having them on board. And I'm just going to replace the crew of my nemesis, delete the uh, show fix his ship and I am going to give myself another nemesis no not a show fix his scout stop trying to give me show fix his scouts another nemesis cause they are very good against the yay hat but they're also good against the enemies that we're gonna come across soon so we'll have more yay hat next time and I'll see you then